This is Eagle Al, and let's get straight into it. Um, Eagles, Eagles as of actually yesterday. And I didn't really see nobody talk about it, so let me talk about it. Uh, Jaqueline Roy out of LSU. We brought him in for a visit. Um, he's not a first round pick. I know we like our Kalija Kansi, our uh, Nolan Smith, B. John Robinson, uh, Branch. It, it's a couple guys we're talking about in the first round. But me being the Eagles fans for so long, we typically, I don't know what's going on with my talking today. Our bones usually come from mid-round picks, third, fourth, late-round picks. Those are the ones that tend to thrive. Not No knock on the first-round picks like Devontae Smith is balling. Dallas Goddard was an early pick, balling. Jalen Hurts was an early pick, second-round pick, balling. So, not trying to knock those guys, but when you think of our Jason Kelsey's, our Milton Williams. Oh, yeah, of course, I can't forget about Lane Johnson being a first-rounder. But when you think about the Milton Williams, the Kelsey's, the uh, Jordan Malata, uh, I'm trying to think of more. Well, you can say uh, N'Kobe Dean, um, undrafted Marcus Epps, like, Quez Watkins. Quez Watkins, where he was drafted, he, he lived up plus more to expectation. So, Jaqueline Royce projected, I would say, I think second will be kind of reaching, but I say third and fourth round pick. Um, as you see here, I think he was the fastest, or I know he was the fastest defensive tackle in the uh, combine. Um he he looked good, especially far as pass rushing. His pass rushing is really really good. Well, I seen him really struggle, and uh, we gonna watch a YouTube video. I usually don't do this, but we we gonna shout out this YouTuber. He broke this down really really good, and other people that told me about him as well. It's his run defense. His run defense is really not that good. Is because um. His upper body strength is really good, but his lower, it's not that good. But he got the speed to recover. He's one of those, if you put him in the right system with the right players and really develop him, he can be a problem. But if he get that run defense down, if he was better at run defense, we talk him late first, early second. But the run defense is somewhat of a problem. LSU had one of the... Best off, I mean, best offense, best defensive line in college, led by this guy. It's just that if you run at him and you can run block him, he can get got. But if you trying to drop back, do all that goofy stuff, and he get past, he he's really good getting off the snap. He'll get you. He'll get you. So. He's really a development piece. You see, he visited the Jaguars, Cowboys, and Eagles. Um, I like him here. I, w I would like him here. But like I said, the Eagles always made they meat and potatoes or they bones in that third and fourth round or like late round pick. So let's get into it. I I'm not even sure. Do we even have... Knowing us, we're a trade for one. I, I know it's like... First, second, and then it's, it, we miss a pace. I, it's it's not on the top of my head right now, but I'm pretty sure if we make trades and moves, we, we can possibly get this guy. But come on, let, let's watch the clip and salute to this YouTuber. Two-minute drill, really good YouTuber. Um, actually, I'll probably just add him in the in a, uh, title or put him in the description, but let me hide this really quick. Um, I actually didn't get the sound set up here. Uh, let me get the sound set up. At the beginning of the season was a team that most CFB media had low expectations for after a 6-7 and seven season. And this is his two-minute drill. Jaqueline Roy pops off the screen almost immediately with his varied penetration ability at the line. Roy uses a combination of strong, violent mitts as well as great off-the-snap quickness to start his battles with opposing interior. Roy also has a great athletic profile for both the defensive tackle position and his size. 
Once Roy gets off the line and into the backfield, he's able to pursue the ball carrier quickly, forcing them to change their plans and push them outside, oftentimes resulting in the ball needing to be thrown away or runs being eaten up by supporting linebackers. Roy is also a very solid tackler, not requiring extra cleanup to bring guys down quickly and in the backfield, meaning he doesn't operate as just someone who can bring pressure. He can bring stops to a team's defensive line, no matter what, and a team with him on it is going to want to have above-average downhill linebackers to cover for his deficiencies. Roy's lower body strength as a whole is less than desirable. Too often is Roy unable to use his leg drive to convincingly win battles, and as a result, his rushes can appear to be incomplete. If a lineman is able to hook in on him and engage past the initial first couple seconds, Roy lacks the anchor and recovery power to get back in the play. He's a player that will benefit from an NFL strength and conditioning program, as his motor can also be questioned at times. For a player comparison, I think Roy profiles similarly to Lawrence Guy. While Guy got off to a rough start in the league with injuries, he's blossomed into a well-rounded DT who acts as a ball-seeking missile with his good-to-great athleticism and as an incredibly consistent tackler, though they both could probably do with some more functional strength. Jaquelin Roy has all the tools and athleticism to be a solid round 2-3 to three selection. If you're in the market for a pass-rushing 3-tech who can be an immediate rotational player and eventual starter, you should hope your team takes a chance. All right, so you hear what Two Minute Drill had to say about that. Like I said, man, he broke it down way better than I can. Way better. So, yeah, man, um, that's his problem, you know, the run defense. But if you get him in a really solid program, he'll be all right. He will be okay. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about to Quaylen Roy coming to the Eagles, man. He's one of those late round gems, man, that you can snatch, develop, get his run defense right, get his, get him uh, stronger. As far as with the run defense, and he can be a problem. But this is Eagle Al. I'm out.